What's up, guys? You know who it is. Midwest Two Review here back again. Well, you know, I saw a video from uh, Country Mile Garage, and there's been others as well, um, regarding the text talking sh shop subject of tool storage and organization. So you guys know that I just put out a video um, about these um, the ratchet dock system by Apex Organizers and how I um, and virtually in love with these um, uh, innovative ways to uh, organize your ratchets. But I thought I would do a video and I I need to send this over to uh, Power Stroke Jew so he can probably incorporate it if you would like to. But I will share my information or my opinion about storage um, as it relates to DIY. So I got a lot of different, I mean, if you look at my, I got three different toolboxes and um, I got a, a host of different tools. And uh, with that, each box is a little bit different. So like in my Matco Jamestown, um, I utilize this tray. Uh, and this is a Cornwall tray, but there's uh, all types of other brands. It's just a rebrand. Uh, but I like this tray because it's mobile. It allows me to be able to put everything that I need. I've got the half, in, oh no, this tray I modified. So I got three eighths, the whole entire tray is three eighths, but I've got deeps and mid, mid length. I've got uh, 12 point, I guess really shallow, and then I got a quarter inch drive set. But that tray allows you to take it, be mobile with it, take it out to your driveway, take it with you if you gotta go to a buddy's house to do some work and you have everything there. Um, so a lot of times I will utilize some of the trays that, um, the products come in like these great pneumatic, great pneumatic makes a really nice tray that, that houses your sockets as well as tectin. They do a pretty good job at it as well. And I like to keep the bottom part, I keep the, the entire tray, but I'll put this, the bottom part in the box and that kind of helps keep things organized. And then if I had to go, I'll grab the, the lid and I'll just attach the lid onto the, to the bottom. And then now I've got a mobile set. Uh, these Hanson type trays are okay. They're stationary, um, but they do have a tendency to, for the pegs to break. Uh, they do like to collect dust and dirt and debris. Um, and so you have to find, you, you, you'll you find yourself cleaning them out. They're okay, but it really depends on your level of uh, cleanliness and organization. Here's another example of some of those trays from Great Matic that I just kind of use. Uh, this one here doesn't help me be, be mobile. Uh, it does help with keeping things organized. Uh, whereas this one here helps me to become be more mobile uh, if I need it to be. Um, and some of these you'll see like in my top drawer here, I'll have some of these smaller little organizers for keeping ratchets together. For the most part, the, the ratchets in this particular box are loose um, and that seems to work okay. Some of these other higher end ratchets will just kind of keep them in the boxes uh, and that's kind of how things work out. When it comes to screwdrivers, I like to keep screwdrivers in their original holders. It's just what I like to do personally. Um, that helps keep me organized and, I, and helps me also make sure that I'm not losing things. Same thing goes for like pry bars and body trim panel kits, things of that nature. Sometimes you'll find you'll get some stuff that won't come in those types of cases. Uh, and that does kind of suck at times, but in other cases it's all, it's all right. Um, and, but you gotta remind, remember too, these things consume a lot of room, uh, and I can see the, the, um, the opinion that these are not worth it, uh, and that, you know, the simply coming up with another way to house them is better. And I think that's okay for some tools. Some tools is better to leave, you know, loose or whatever. And there's other things you kind of want to keep more of an organized manner. Uh, but I have to have my screwdrivers in an organized manner because that way I know I'm not leaving something behind. Wrenches, um, I got a variety of different ways of housing wrenches. For the most part, I just simply use these angle, these 15 degree angle trays. They seem to be the cheapest, they're easy. Uh, they fit in most places, even in a drawer, uh, such as this box here, where it's fairly shallow. Let me see here, one of these drawers has my wrenches in it. Um, this particular drawer here, having something like one of these trays helps keeps things low profile and allows it to fit. A lot of these older boxes do not have very deep drawers, and so you have to consider that when um, you're 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 doing your box layout. And so these particular types of trays um, have a are, are work for me personally because, like I said, it keeps things low profile, allows me to get the, the drawer closed, and there's not a lot of issues with it. And you can see here, I've got Matco, I've got some off-brand stuff. Um, lots of Matco in this box here. 
Um, and then here's another good example of a tray. This is a blow molded tray that came with the wrenches. Um, it keeps them, you know, vertically, um, but at the same time, it helps with organization uh, in terms of knowing where things are at. And so that way you can do a quick glance at the end of a job, make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, so that's wrenches. Pliers, uh, we'll look, take a look at, at some of my plier layouts and I kind of give you the perspective from multiple different boxes. It's pretty much all the same, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, this wrench is there. Uh, come on now, let's not think these old boxes, the jars are not that friendly. All right, so we'll start down here in the Matco. Um, so this particular drawer here, you can see I use these trays. This is a, I think it's a Olsa tools tray, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and this is a snap-on tray here. Uh, just anything that kind of keeps the, the pliers vertical or, you know, nice and tightly fitted work, seems to work the best. Um, I have the same thing going on in this particular drawer here. This is a Matco one or some some other rebranded. Uh, it's a rebranded Matco, but I'm not sure who makes it for them. Uh, but the same thing is, is such in this particular box here. And then my my box that has the higher end stuff here, I'm doing the same exact thing. It has a macro tray. And this is the best way. I've seen people lay them flat, but that seems, in my opinion, it, it consumes the room because you figure if this is the, you know, well, let's look at it this way. If that's the, the plier you're laying flat, well, theoretically, you can do one, you can do two, you can do three. So the footprint that that makes laying flat, you can vir virtually get three different sets of pliers in that same footprint. And so that way, by keeping them vertical like this, um, it kind of gives you more room. And it looks better, in my opinion, as well. So that's just my opinion on pliers. Um, uh, cases, I mean, you know, like I said before, sometimes I like to keep the cases it is what it is, depending on what the what the actual tool is, I'll keep the case, sometimes I don't. Some of the specialty stuff I'll keep cases for, just to kind of keep it more organized, and it's better that way, so. Um, I got, like I said, I got multiple of these particular trays. This is one here. I've also got another one here on this top, top box. This is an Olsa Tools um, tray here. Um, their uh, socket holder or socket organizer, I think is what it's referred to as. Really nice tray. It does, it works like any other tray, really. You can take up, well, this one here, they're fixed, so you can't take them out. Um, whereas, but you can add more, um, um, whatever you want to call it, anvils, I guess, if you will, you can add more to it and that way you can kind of adjust it and, and tailor it to what you want. Same thing goes for these types of trays as well. Um, in this particular box, I don't have that. Here's a good example of something. I'll bring this over here. Hang on a second. Here's a good example of um, utilizing the factory of the OEM tray. This is a... Uh, a snap-on set that I picked up uh, for 150 bucks, believe it or not. Um, I've never used it, crackhead deal. Um, but this is, you know, I, I kept this tray. I, I took everything out at one point in time. I put it on an actual socket rail. Didn't like how it looked. And then a lot of times you find that the socket rails don't have enough spaces or pegs or whatever you want to call it to, to complete the set out on it. And I absolutely hate having like up to 19. Then I have these two random sockets sitting off to the side, but yet this one here goes up to 19. That goes up to 19. It's really weird how they make socket sets and see it starts at eight, but yet I got six and seven on the deep. So it sometimes it just does not work out. And in, th in those cases there, sometimes these OEM trays work out better. And since I don't really use this set, it's something that I just have, um, and I'm not necessarily using it at the moment. It just stays in that, that factory OEM tray, and that's kind of where it's at. Um, trying to go around to my side box here. Once again, I've got a lot of ratchets. Everybody knows me as my self-proclaimed ratchet king. So I've got a lot of different ratchets, and I don't have everything organized. It's going to be, you know, based upon your specific needs. Um, I know, um, I think... Uh, Theo was talking about at Country Mile Garage. He was talking about service trucks, and I agree with him on that. Depending on your service truck, your layout's gonna be different. If you have a, a toolbox, a tool cart, a bucket, I mean, you know, whatever you have, whatever you work out of is your deal. I, 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 you know, doesn't matter to me. Um, and so I think you're gonna have to adjust your 
your organization and your storage based upon your, your specific uh, needs and your footprint of what you have available to you. So it kind of jumps all around the place, but this kind of gives you an idea of some things that I like. Like I said here, I like these trays because they, they're mobile. I like keeping some tools in the original tray because it helps keep things organized, helps make it more mobile as well. I do like the, um, the longer plier racks because it helps to minimize the amount of space that you're using, uh, things like that. Um, some things I do leave loose because, you know, it just, it works that, that way. Uh, and then other times when I can find a, a really nice store solution, such as the, the ratchet dock system from Apex Organizers, I'll utilize something like that. And these, this case here, um, you know, it helps keep things more organized and it keeps things a little pretty as well. You know, a lot of guys, you spend a lot of money on your tools. You want to make sure that you're, you're, you're organized, that you're, um, um, maintaining a level of cleanliness and that your tools are where they need to be and you're not losing things. So I know a lot of guys talk about, you know, having mobile boxes and carrying, you know, cheap tools to salvage yards and junkyards versus carrying an expensive tool because you're going to fear you're going to lose it. So sometimes having some more organization and carrying things in original OEM cases or things like this here, the trays helps to make sure that you don't lose things when you're out in the field working. So that's just my my opinion for organization ideas and tips and tricks, etc. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I like I said, this is something that I didn't talk to Power Stroke Jude about. I just saw all the videos popping up, and I thought that I would submit mine as well. Um, and I'll send it over to Jude probably or something to that effect first, and see what he wants to do with it. If he wants to post it on Text Talking Shop, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'll just post it independently. So, hope you guys like the video. Shout out, shout out to Power Stroke Jude and the whole Text Talking Shop um, um, group. So, all right, guys, catch you the next one. Peace.